Hello everybody, it's a really dreary, wet, mid-June day, as usual. Weather's good while I'm actually at work, but as soon as I get to the weekend and I'm off, it pisses down. Right, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers, I've got a couple more, and I'd just like to apologise for some people how long it's taken me to answer your comments. It's because, for some reason, my YouTube on my mobile has actually changed sort of its format sort of thing and it's a right bastard to sign i go there to comment to reply to people and it just says as an error and also it won't let me read the full comments people leaving just what's on the little comments thing on the screen so i've got to keep going onto my laptop or my tablet which is a pain in the ass so sorry about that i don't know if anyone else had the same problem as me but there you go right first up i've got some stuff from amazon Right, first up, finally got my um, Arrow Slaughter High DVD. Been after this for a while, but just kept it, you know, buying other stuff. Get this one, because um, Caroline, Caroline Monroe's at Horicon, so I can get to sign that. So that's Slaughter High. Brilliant film. Although it's British film, it's meant to be an American slasher thing. But you can tell it's been shot and made in Britain. It just has that British feel about it. But it's a fun film anyway. Good laugh. That's slot height. Next one up. I've got this one. It's from the Hammer Collection. This is um, Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. There's Martine Beswick. Her there. She's at Horicon as well. So get her to sign this. Haven't seen this one for a long time. But Ralph Bates is in it and he's really good. So I actually look forward to seeing this again. Can't really remember a lot of it. But I do remember I enjoyed it when I was a kid. Got this one as well, Screen Factory. It's um, New Year's Evil. Actually, me and the wife watched this last night. It was actually quite good. You know, wasn't the best film ever, but, you know, enjoyable. I like my 80s slasher. Wasn't quite enough gore in it as I thought there'd actually be. But, do you know what? It was alright. Not bad. And the last one from Amazon. It's a 1987 film, The Majorettes. Been after this one for a while. Finally got it. Really good film. Really 80s with the old Majorettes and their old tacky leotards there. Another one about uh, Majorettes all start getting killed off and you, know, you don't know who it is. and Lots of nudity, lots of sex, lots of violence. Really good film. Sound quality on this wasn't actually that good. This is a street show. You know, kept popping and hissing quite a bit on the TV. But yeah, you know, the picture was good. But yeah, enjoy it. Good cover as well. Alright, up next, I've got some, my favourite, Asda. Um, the wife picked this one, Horton at the Rectory. This is actually based on um, the Borley Rectory. It's maybe the most haunted house in Britain. I think it's knocked down now. But yeah, the wife likes these sort of films. So, yeah, give it a go. Most haunted house in England. Yeah, it looks quite good. Forefront video. So, uh, as usual in the UK, uh, all the f films seem to have the same style covers. It's another one, it's a blind buy, it's a ghost house, another one that's based on actual events. Yeah, don't really know much about this one, but you know, a little supernatural one about, you know, you get, actually get $50,000, so 12 hours alone inside this haunted place. So, give it a go, dead never sleep. Yeah, pretty cool cover though, isn't it? Probably nothing to do with the film as usual. And finally, I've got this one, Twisted Tales. I like the look of this one. You know, it's from the the horror legend behind Charles playing Fright Night. Tom Holland. I haven't seen a film of his for a while. Good cover there. I'm going to slip cover. Yeah, I think it's a load of, um, load of different tales. It's an anthology one, which I like. So, yeah, I look forward to this. It's got some pretty good people in it. Amber Benson from Buffy's in it. You know... First of all, Daniel Harris is in it. It's my favourite screen queen. Ray Wise is in it. Angela Bettis is in it. So it's quite a good cast. Nothing about it. So if anyone knows anything, let me know. I actually might actually watch this tonight. Pretty good looking. Right, these ones here was out today at a boot sale. <laughs> Got this one. Never heard of it. The Haunted Boat. Well, Haunted Boat. Open water meets the fog. Got absolutely nothing about this. It looks quite cheap. It doesn't even look like the the cover there actually even fits the DVD, does it? That's a bit strange. 
Yeah. Give this one a go anyway. Know nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah. This one. I think it's 11 11. Don't know anything about this. It's from the producer of Ripper and the Stag. I've seen Ripper, but not the Stag. So, yeah, so I don't really know anything about this. It's about 11 11, which I used to see quite a lot all the time. Me and the wife, always in the mornings and at night. One of them numbers that people seem to spot quite a lot. But have some weird meaning. Yeah. Give that a go. And this one. Love this cover. Look at that. Zombie Driftwood. Never heard of this one before. I love the artwork on the cover. It looks really cheap on the back, doesn't it? But yeah. You know nothing about this film. It looks fun. Give it a go. Also got this one. Ring of Darkness. Another car boot sale one. Don't actually know anything about this, but this looks quite good. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a look. Here's another one. Looks like a really old one. It's called the Dead One. Yeah, about Voodoo Curse. Yeah. Don't know anything about it, but it looks really cheap and cheesy. Not bad, 50p. And also, <clears throat> used to see this one in Asda. I never did pick it up. British horror film. British Blair Witch, Hollow. I think it's about a tree. Some weird big tree that has got some weird fucking powers or something. Yeah, I think it's a found footage one. So, I like my found footage. Nice cover as well, isn't it? Give it a go. And I've got a few from HMV. I've just finished watching season five of Game of Thrones and was fucking shocked at the end. Poor old Jon Snow, my favourite character, getting killed off. Yeah, you know. But I picked this one up last week. Game of Thrones, complete fourth season. Love this show. The wife's never watched it, but she watched the last three episodes. Thought it was really good. It's already got season one and two. Still got to get um, season three. But hopefully I'll wait till it comes down in price a bit. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't go wrong with this, can you? Absolutely brilliant. It's Game of Thrones. Picked this one up today. 88 films. This is um, American Ninja, The Ultimate Collection. It's the first four films. I still remember watching the first one at the cinema back in the day. Actually really enjoyed it. Me and my brother. So, yeah, we'll give this one a go. I think I've seen the second one, not the third and the fourth. Don't know anything about them. So if they're any good, then will let me know. Not bad for 22 quid, is it? Four films. So, yeah. And here's my um, old 88 films. Number eight. This is 1987. This is um, Slasher Collection, Dead of Winter. I think I've seen this one before on the Horror Channel. It's not the greatest film. But about an actress who goes to this house. Pretty weird. But, yeah, give it a shot. Again, you know, might be better this time around. And pick this one up because it a limited edition but it's been out for years 4 99 it's like they've got the same window box just like um the arrow ones it's got four different different cards in it a lot of lobby card things double-sided collectible postcards yeah so why not not the greatest film but i actually like that cover pretty cool for a fiber all right his last ones the ones i just got from poundland um steve's not just dead it's just a little bit of zombie another rom zom com <clears throat> you know none of them ever match up to Shaun of the dead but you know some of them are quite funny in bits give it a shot anyway looks looks okay actually you know what i mean strong language violence sex references and nudity so yeah got this one as well it's got a slip cover it's um the alphabet killer elijah just q in it carly Elwes. Tom Malloy, Michael Ironside, Bill Mosley, who's going to be at Horicon, and Timothy Hutton. Yeah, it's based on a true story about um, Rochester, New York. Yeah, Elijah Disco is a police officer. And yeah, going after the alphabet killer. Might be good. And here's the last one I've got. It's another one with slip cover, another one I've never heard of, but I like the cover. Billy Zane's in it. It seems to be in a lot of films I've been getting lately. Scorned. Hell, have no fewer like women scorned and yep looks quite nasty yeah it's actually looks quite good as well so i guess when i go know nothing about it so yeah anyone seen any of some of these that i haven't let me know because there's quite a few here that i actually haven't seen this week yeah plus let's say a big thank you to sean boy hopefully you've all checked his channel out because he sent me this this is the um halloween six direct well, producers cut he actually sent me this for nothing through the post 
Thanks for very much. Sean, I haven't actually seen it yet, but it is going on my watch list for the weekend. Yeah, so um, thanks a lot. I um, hope everyone's doing okay. Leave your comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And um, yeah, I'll see you for more later. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.